Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Alice and if you're new here, and today I am sharing another living room makeover. About a year ago, my husband and I completely remade our living room, DIY'd a bunch of hand-me-down furniture, and slowly we've been replacing furniture, changing little things, and we've also had a baby. So this space has changed a lot since we last made it over, and also my style has changed a bit. So today I am giving this room a complete refresh, making it over, DIYs and on a budget, so all of the fun things that you guys love to see on this channel. First thing that is happening in this space is something I was too eager to wait for. I originally planned on like clearing out this space, organizing all the baby stuff, because you can see it is absolutely everywhere in this room, but I have also been dying to get a new coffee table in here. And once the coffee table arrived, I was way too impatient to like wait to clear out this space for filming. I just wanted to build this table. So once it arrived, we got straight to work, and thankfully this is one of the easiest pieces of furniture we we have ever had to put together. We always joke that we are not good team members when it comes to building furniture, but this is one piece of furniture we were able to do together. It was just like maybe 16 screws total, and that was it. Super straightforward, super easy, and I love the quality of this coffee table. I grabbed it from Target, but I've also seen it from Wayfair and Overstock, and depending on where you find it from, they had different sales going on, so I think Target had a 25% off sale when I picked up this piece. Anyway, I will have it linked down below for you guys. Also, anything that I use in this video that I can find for you guys I will link below if I'm missing anything or there's something that you spot that I did not link leave me a comment and I'll go hunting for you guys but for now assembling the easiest piece of furniture ever When we made over this room about a year ago, I definitely had it very tonal, a lot of beiges and neutrals and plain wood colors, and that's definitely still a theme going on here. You can see a light colored couch, a white area rug, and a light colored coffee table, but I'm also gonna be adding in a lot of pops of black and changing this room from more of a coastal style to a transitional style. I'm definitely adding more contrast and making this room just a little bit more visually interesting. And I do have a quick disclaimer, this style does not have to be your style. So if you disagree with how I style this room or how I rearrange furniture, or that our couch does not face our TV directly, don't bother commenting, I just delete them anyway. Um, just because it's not your style does not mean that I don't love it in my home. So just a quick reminder to each their own and also just keep the negative comments to yourself because they won't be tolerated here. Now with a baby, my YouTube filming schedule is very different. I am definitely on my baby schedule, not on my own. And so this video is filmed over many, many days with many, many outfits. So this next day that I was able to start filming, I'm just clearing out all of the extra stuff in this room. We have lots of clutter, dog toys, baby products, just tons of things cluttering this space and making a room that used to look super nice just feel super not nice, I guess, for lack of better terms. Having all the extra clutter in here just makes it harder to visualize this space and really appreciate it being pretty. We also had the AC unit in for a couple of days because there was a random heat wave, just tons of junk in this space. So today I was focusing on cleaning this out and giving this room the refresh that I talked about before we built the coffee table. I really wanted to also deep clean these carpets. We have a lovely carpet cleaner. That is my favorite thing ever. We have a white carpet and a black dog with mud in the backyard and like it's not a good combo, but I just love the light look so much that I am willing to put in the effort to keep it clean. So today I was taking the time to actually do all of that and praise the Lord, my baby was cooperating and she was being a great little napper. I was going up and down a couple times to replace her binky, but this morning during like her best nap of the day, she let me clean this room, vacuum it, and also go in with a carpet shampooer. So here's some satisfying clips of the white carpet getting a whole lot cleaner. And make sure you stay tuned to the end of this because I'm gonna show you all of the nasty water that came out of this. It doesn't really show up on camera that well, just how dirty this carpet is, but it sees a lot of things. I'm going over any really dirty spots with a stain remover. The carpet cleaner instruction said to pre-treat any stains, and I don't know if they wanted me to do a special pre-treatment, but I just use this basic stain remover from Grove. And then we are going in with the magic machine that is going to bring life back to these carpets. And if you can't notice a difference in the clips, just wait till you see all the dirty water. It's one of the most satisfying things about this whole process.
this nasty dirt out of the carpet. You guys can definitely tell why I wanted to clean this space first. I just love having a clean slate to work with literally and figuratively. So clearing everything out of the room and also making sure the space is as clean as possible before I start trying to reimagine and rework the space. Now, moving on to the decorating, the DIYs, the actual transformation of this room, the first thing that I'm taking down are the three picture frames. You can notice I shifted the couch a little bit farther down. I think it just makes the room open up a little bit more, but we were definitely gonna be updating these. I'll link my last living room makeover where I showed how my husband actually built these for me. I was inspired by some Pottery Barn frames that I found for this exact dimension. Like They looked exactly like these frames, but they were $100 each. So with some scrap wood from our garage, my husband built me these, and he here, I'm just trying to get an idea if I would like them painted black. They're kind of a thicker frame than a lot of other black frames that are on the market, so I wasn't sure if it was going to be too bold or too dark, so a fun little trick that I had to just kind of test out this color was taking electrical tape, taping down the sides just to be able to see what that black color looks like, and then I'm going to throw these back on the wall with the black one right next to the natural wood. I do love the natural wood look, but like I said, just trying to change the style up in here a little bit. I was really scared of this being too bold, so I hung these up and let it sit overnight before I made my decision. In just a minute you'll see what I ended up doing, but in the meantime this day I had some more free time to work on this project and our neighbor actually moved away recently, military housing problems, but they left us all of their house plants and I neglected every single one of them, but one of their plants was in this gorgeous black pot, so I went and dumped the dead plant in our backyard and rinsed out this pot and I'm going to be moving our fake olive tree out of the basket it was currently in into this pot. Now the last thing I'm doing today is kind of pulling this room back together. You don't get a good look at it in this video, but the area where our little kitchen table is, is a complete disaster because I just threw all of our junk there. So the carpets had finally dried from washing them earlier in the morning, so I'm going to move back some of the furniture pieces and just make the room feel a little bit more put together and cleaned up. Now, the next day, I was fully ready to commit to painting these frames black. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, definitely recommend you going over there because I share behind the scenes sneak peeks at all these videos, and I ask for your guys' opinion a lot. I actually posted the two frames hanging on the wall, and the majority of you guys voted to go with the black frames, so that's what I was doing. I already had this black paint in the garage. That's one of the great things about doing DIYs, is that the more you do, the more you like build up your stash and your supply of products, and the less you have to buy things for different projects. So I bought this black paint to paint the shelves in our dining room and I have reused it now three or four different times And it is so nice to have just some staples on hand and not have to go to Home Depot for every single project But pretty straightforward just gonna be painting these frames I only have two of them on our dining table right now But I will go and grab a third and I will be doing two full coats of paint on these just to make sure that they have a truly dark jet black finish to them
won't say that these are the highest quality of picture frames, they are just the wooden frame with white cardstock as the backing, and then I just taped the pictures to the white cardstock and then taped the cardstock to the frame. So it's a little bit haphazard, but it definitely works and it's not too noticeable in person and it really, really looks nice on camera. So it's a very easy hack. So if you have some plywood lying around or you can even just buy this kind of wood at Home Depot, you can make your custom sized frames, paint them however you want, stain them, just completely DIY and customize these. But since the photos I had in previously were taped to this cardstock material, they would have torn a little bit if I pulled them off. So I just flipped them around so the back side is clean and ready for the new images. And to go with our black and white contrast theme, I picked out a bunch of images that were black and white. I took all of these photos and the theme that I was going for were places where my husband and I have lived. We've lived more places than just these three, but these were probably the most meaningful. So I had um, one option printed out for our time studying abroad. That's where we met. And then I also had a photo printed out from our time in Virginia, right outside of Washington, DC. And then I had two photos printed out for California because I couldn't decide. I ended up going with this picture off the Pacific Coast Highway with some pretty mountains and the water. It felt very California-ish. But with those taped down to the frames, I am going to reposition the nails to be centered over the couch again and then hang these frames up. Now in these videos, do as I say, not as I do, I definitely was eyeballing how to measure all these. Well, I did measure out the distance so like the gaps in between the frames weren't perfect, but I did not use a level or like a piece of painter's tape to make sure they were all straight along the top. And the one on the right is a little bit higher, or maybe it's lower, one of the two. And then on the left picture frame, the picture is definitely not centered inside of the frame, but I think I'll survive. It doesn't bother me too much, but when doing this yourself, I definitely recommend measuring and making it as accurate as possible. Now moving on to the fun part, I'm decorating this space. My favorite part of this whole room was decorating the coffee table. I will link all of these little decor pieces from Amazon and Target down below. I think they really, really make this space. They make it feel modern and pulled together and polished and poised. And I really like that in this space. It may not be the most like warm and inviting kind of coffee table decor, but with our house being so overrun by baby things and lullabies being sung and baby swings and all of that stuff, having little spaces feel really polished and a little bit more grown up and mature really make the space feel elevated and nicer than just like a baby play gym. Now I love the Ikea throw pillows. They come with really inexpensive inserts and a bunch of different options for the covers. And I have a ton of different covers. So here I'm just switching them all out for some fresh and clean ones. They look pretty much the same and they are pretty much the same like beige white tones, but they are clean is the main difference. Our dog does get on our couch and makes these kind of messy and dirty. So sometimes these can get a little bit messed up. So giving the couch a refresh. And I'm also throwing together a new blanket basket. This one's from Target and I bought it online thinking it was a little bit bigger so I'm gonna play with this and move it around a little bit later in the video but you'll see that we'll do lots of little tweaks and finishing touches to this space I'm also going to pull back in the leather chair and try to tie it into the space a little bit more it doesn't really go with this room and we didn't really buy it for this room specifically we want to turn our front dining room into like a office reading nook area and so we plan on moving that chair eventually over there but we have a dining table in there that we're trying to sell first like it's a whole process so for now the chair is sitting in this room and I think it kind of works a little bit it breaks up it being so just like like white and black in there. It brings in some warmth, but also it's not like the ideal chair for in there. But besides the point, enough rambling about this leather chair. I wanted to give you guys a look at how the rest of the house was faring during this project. Like I said, we had a lot of extra junk and just extra furniture, like this extra chair laying around. And I definitely wanted to minimize and simplify and clean up this space. And just getting rid of things from this room made it feel a lot nicer. So here I am just tidying all of this up, putting things away, and then also using other baskets that were in this space before to hide a bunch of baby items. That's the best tip I have found so far for hiding these really obnoxious baby items is just putting them in a basket and tucking them in a corner. Ooh. 
I had one last project that I was planning on tackling that didn't go quite according to plan. I wanted to change up what lamp situation we had in this room, so from Amazon I ordered this wooden tripod lamp. So here I am just assembling it. It was pretty straightforward, although one of the pieces did break, which made it a little bit challenging. I just used some tape to hold it back together, and I guess that would work, but just keep in mind, quality is not 100% there, but for this price, like you can't expect perfection. And my plans with this lamp when I bought it were to actually paint it a completely different color. I was going to spray paint the wooden legs completely black, and then I was even going to be painting the lampshade white to match the theme of the room, but you'll see a little bit why that didn't exactly work, but I will tell you that I did a lot of research and you definitely can just paint lampshades and use spray paint on the base of these lamps. So if you're ever looking to update a lamp like this, you definitely can do that DIY yourself. It's definitely pretty straightforward and I was about to do it in this video, but you'll see in a little bit why it didn't quite work out. Here you can also get a sneak peek of our dog toy basket and our baby basket that we're using to hide some of the bulkier items. It's really hard to notice them when you're just first entering the room and they're very well tucked away in this corner and I really like this little hack for kind of hiding bulkier, less attractive items. Okay, so here's everything I have bought for the room, the room completely set up. If you can ignore all of the stuff, I don't love the lamp. Like, I definitely want a lamp option in here, but I don't love it next to the TV in this corner. It just doesn't look right. I'm not a fan of it, but I also love the tree in this corner, so I'm very torn because this whole room looks awesome. And when you first walk into this space, you have this awesome view with greenery and the light and the contrast and all of this, and I love this look. But then you come over here and it kind of goes womp, womp, womp. But I'm not sure what to put in this corner instead. So I think what I'm gonna do for this video is move the lamp, move the lamp, move the plant back to where it was originally, and then also set up the little table and then the lamp that um, was originally here, so like what it was before I put this lamp in. And then I'm also going to disassemble and return the lamp. There's also a broken piece on the lamp, so I'm kind of not super happy about the quality of it. I'm not gonna keep it for another room, so that's gonna be returned. And this is like part of the room makeover, so I don't normally share. Like I don't share a lot when things don't work. I actually have more things that didn't even work in this space. Here I bought these candlestick holders from Amazon and then these candlesticks that are super wonky from Target. I love them, but I don't think they're gonna work out there. I might use them somewhere else in the house. Same with the coasters and then this anthropology candle. I bought an extra photo print. Like there's things that don't work in this space and I don't always show that part of the process, but it's definitely very much part of the process. I buy things, I put them together, I put them in the room and it just doesn't look how I want it to. I also had complete mom brain that I forgot to take before clips of this room. Like when the coffee table came, I immediately just jumped into filming. So there's no like pretty before shots to show you, but I will show you the after shots of how this room looks. I love the update, it's super fresh. And sometimes that's all you need with the space. You don't need to be buying tons of furniture, like buying a new couch and painting everything that I do in a lot of my makeovers. Sometimes just changing out some pictures, changing the plant holder, adding a coffee table that went missing. Like little changes make a big impact in rooms like this. And I'm really happy with the updates we've made. And also I'm still frustrated that this room is not exactly how I would want it to be. Um, I have some rooms that are like actually perfection in my mind. Like I'm very, very happy. Like there's very little that I would change in those spaces. Our dining room is beautiful to me and I'm actually planning on changing that space, but for a different reason. But if you want to see a room makeover that's like I love to pieces and like every little part of it, every little corner I'm obsessed with, I'll link that video here for you to watch. But for this space, I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to be very happy with the progress and the updates we made. Like I said, we're on a budget here. I'm not trying to bust the bank, so I'm not going to be buying every single piece that I want. Like I definitely want to put a fireplace in here and I want to change out the big leather chair for two different chairs that are a little less like leather looking and a little bit less like 
of a footprint in this space and also making it two chairs instead of just one but all of that will come at a later time like I said it's a process making little updates tweaking it and then finding my style and how I want my house to look slowly like we first made over this room a year ago and had a crazy transformation back then and now we're making a little refresh and I'm sure down the line we're gonna be making more and more little refreshes so subscribe if you want to see more room makeovers I do have a couple exciting spaces planned out I think in the next month or two we're gonna have the budget to redo this little dining corner we're planning on selling this table changing out the light fixture putting a new table and chairs in rug the whole shebang also this little corner our baby girl hates this swing so I want to decorate this corner again I love our dining room to pieces it's beautiful to me and normally it's not this messy but like I said I want to change the space up a little bit we lost our office space when we put together the nursery so I need a new office space and then also a play space for baby girl you can tell we're just over with baby things and I need like a central spot for all of it to live so this will be seeing a very fun refresh and then also upstairs the guest bedroom is a disaster the wallpaper I put in there completely fell off it's just a hot mess and I have tons of inspo pics um saved up and like tons of ideas for that room and like a true DIY like we're gonna build some furniture we're gonna paint things I have a fun DIY for the wall I have so much in mind for that room so stay tuned stay subscribed for that video for all the room makeovers coming together and um I'm getting rambly I can tell that like my sleep deprivation in the last couple of nights is catching up and my words are slurring together even though it's only not even 10 a.m 11 a.m ish but um I'm gonna wrap up this video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know down below what I should do with that corner in the living room and I will see you guys next time bye